Good morning. It's Monday, October 11th. I'm Myrna Brown, bringing you one last show before the Big Bash returns tomorrow. If you like Top Story, why not make it official? Go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button below. On today's full World Watch show, we learn this year's Nobel Prize winners. Reporter Hannah Harris shares about the man who funded these prestigious awards. And Taylor Abair gives us a peek inside a sloth rescue center. Now, this is Top Story. Tensions between China and Taiwan soaring to new heights this week. In a span of four days, 149 Chinese military aircraft flew through Taiwan's air defense identification zone, a record number of flights. They never entered Taiwan airspace, just the international buffer around it. But this zone is part of the island nation's defense strategy. Possibly more significant than the number of planes was the type fighters, bombers, and airborne early warning aircraft, a grouping of planes you'd find on a strike mission. The communist nation is flexing its military sophistication and power, this as it's facing increasing pushback in Asia from the United States and other Western democracies. Taiwan scrambled to pull together its defense forces in response to China's aerial harassment soon after releasing a military propaganda video. Many worry there could be an accidental strike between the two. Taiwan considers itself a sovereign nation. It broke away from China in 1949 following the Communist Revolution, but Beijing claims Taiwan is still its territory. Controlling Taiwan and its airspace is key to China's military strategy, and fears are that Beijing could try to take Taiwan by force. Make sure to check out our site at worldwatch.news. You can try out the full show free for a month. And remember, whatever the news, the purpose of the Lord will stand.